Okay, this car here, um, I set it up for some final um, sanding and uh, I've fitted uh, a lot of the parts for it on the exterior. The interior parts have been fitted already. I'm gonna take this outside tomorrow and, and work on sanding it and sanding some of the parts that need to be sanded. I've already done some rough sanding for some of this stuff, for the fitment. You can see I've marked the uh, bucket lights here. Uh, they've got the um, reflector buckets in there. You'll see um, also uh, the quarter scale uh, C2 license plate, uh, as well as the bracket for it. And of course you see the grill, right? Uh, bezels are kind of in place just so I can mark them see what they look like. Got to sand those. Uh, of course, I've got the um, grills here, wiper grills in here. Um, uh, these are rough. I'm gonna, these aren't what I'm gonna use, but I had to just get them squared away, just make sure that everything fit right. I do have the hole here for the, uh, to allow water to come through and spray. I'm not doing that on this model. Um, I, that's a cool. That's a cool project. I'm just not doing that. That's a bit much on this one. Um, I got enough going on, uh, but it's going to happen on another a different car. That's why I, I set it up for, to have some neat options for these cars for guys building them. Um, so anyway, this is um, obviously um, wiper and the blade, and it articulates, of course. And so I haven't got the spring or screws in it yet. Uh, but there we are. Go ahead, doesn't want us to focus. There we go. So they get put together. I use uh, these parts here to secure it in place when I uh, drill a hole there at an angle so that they articulate right up and down, round. So um, top and bottom and side um, trim piece for the windshield. They're all there. You saw that fall off. Uh, just placed there. I got to trim that up and kind of sand that still. Um, here, uh, the rear window win uh, rear window trim treatments here. The exterior, obviously. On the inside, let's just see here. On the inside, you see, um, I still got to clean up um, the headliner trim piece around the top of the headliner there, size of the windows, I'm sorry, doors. But you'll see the rear uh, window trim treatment. You see they're offset to allow for the well, four millimeter, maybe five millimeter thick uh, headliner that goes in there. Um, and so what happens is that um, it's tough to see now because it hasn't been done. But there's a there's a bit of a there we go. It's not cleaned up or anything. They got to sand them. Um, and these aren't really the ones I'll use the trim pieces. I'm just getting it lined up, but. I sand and clean this up, this, these edges, between the silver piece and the white piece, and it leaves about a two millimeter thick or so uh, space, and that's where I sandwich the um, rear uh, windows into place, right? Um, I have a thermal former there, and I uh, have a tool that I form the, the front and rear windows and side windows with, and, and I leave that little space there to sandwich them together, and you know, it fits just like that. Um, also, back here, let me see here. Let me pick this up. This, of course, is the gas cap, right? The flip uh, lid for the gas cap. And this one's plastic. I think I'm going to wind up putting a metal one on here. Uh, here's the bezel, right? Um, there we go again. Anyway, um, I, I, I like the idea of a metal one on this one. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to. I got to order that. Um, this, of course, you can see. We have the license plate, the bracket, and uh, you know the reflector for the light. Okay, and of course we have the um, cans for the brake lights and rear lights as well. The only thing I have to, I haven't sanded and put on here really at all, um, would be the bumpers. I did get one done focus that a little better uh, what I do is I leave the um, material inside to help support while I sand it these take a little while I mean to post process but once they're sanded they really look nice again um, they can be done in aluminum you know I, I did price them out for uh, for a friend of mine they're like 650 bucks a piece from Shapeways and that's ouch um, but the hardcore guys there you go um, but 
Um, that's not what I'm doing in this car. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll get this outside tomorrow as well. I've got the door. I got the door outside for this one. I'll finish sanding it. Once I get everything sanded, then I'll come back and I'll fill in this stuff. You know, my bondo in here, clean all this up, make it pretty. Um, but first, I just want to make sure I get everything fitted to the car. Uh, so I'll sand off, sand, finish sanding um, these uh, bumpers off, and um, come back and clean up this body. And this is finally at a point where I feel really good about it. Um, it's just it took a lot to get here, and it just take a lot to do to do this. Um, so anyway, that uh, really starts tomorrow in earnest. Um, it'll probably take a couple. Well, it'll take a day to get this thing rough to where I want it, all the parts and the body. Um, and, and that's fine. And then after that, this one here gets treatment. I've got to trim this back a little bit to give the buckets room to rotate. Yeah. Um, so that I can actually put them in place where they need to be. You can see there. A little, just a little too much body there in a way. So that gets done tomorrow. Um, well, shortly. It's going to go outside tomorrow. The doors for this one are outside as well. Uh, when I get it out there, I'll go ahead and uh, mark up some things. Uh, holes for that and I got to bring it back and put the, the uh, body harness uh, wiring harness on this thing but I but since I'm going out and I'm sanding I don't like sanding fiberglass but um, so when I do it I, I do all of them at once um, so I mark them out what needs to happen and I take them out there and do it so I'd be done with it um, sanding Yoko is fine as the fiberglass stinks grinding on that uh, this body uh, is out there as well, ready to go. The doors have been marked up. They're out there as well, ready to go. Um, and I, again, there's been minimal sanding on this one, which was nice. Um, once I get that done, I'll bring it back and I'll start installing. Um, I'll start installing the um, <clears throat> servo for the throttle, uh, put the hood latch on and all that. Uh, of course, this is the car where the that body there on the floor there belongs to this one. And um, before I put it back on, I'm gonna change out. Um, he would like to have the Corvette um, valve covers on this one, so I'm gonna take those off. Uh, I'm gonna take this off, these headers, and I'm gonna put a plate here. These engines are the Australian, uh, Gary Omers makes these, um, these V8s, and they're nice. Um, Gary uses cork here between the header and um, block. And I'm going to, I, I put it back like Conley had it. There's a, uh, a metal uh, flange uh, that goes here between the two. So I, I put that back on there. Just make it look more, you know, uh, more stock like the Conleys. And I, I also, um, it, it look, makes it look more scale uh, with all the stuff I'm dressing up. Also, I, I'm taking this, again, the water pump off and putting um, uh, original Conley water pump, internal pump. These are external pumps on these uh, 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 Gary Ulmer's engines out of Australia. Nice engines, it's just for my application here and in in these C2s, I want a more scale engine bay. Uh, also, what I've done is, and I'll show you here, here comes these engines here. I, um, so I've got these pulleys, these gears here. Um, and what I'm doing is uh, waiting for I'm waiting for um, uh, waiting for pulley pulleys for uh, the alternators, right? I have a, a we're making a bracket here to go off of this and secure to the front of this, and have the alternator sitting up here. And I've got uh, a pulley for uh, for, uh, for the top, and of course I've got it on already on, on the uh, crank crankshaft here. Put a belt on that. And that'll just that plus these um, plus the scale. Um, valve covers uh, plus having the valve train right front and rear sealed and um, this nice air breather it just and, and then you know I've, I've kind of fitted this thing and finished it off with the boots it will make this it should make this um, you know the uh, engine bay really just something I think uh, worthwhile looking at um, this this piece here is just, I just wanted to fit it in here, see how it's fitting. This doesn't go in this car. It's not a fuel uh, big tank or anything like that. Just, um, I want to try that piece out. So, um, stay tuned. More coming later, all right?